Hey buddy, Charles here with Side by Side Garage. And today I'm gonna to show you how to clean up the look of your machine as well as change the appearance a little bit. And I'm talking about something as simple as removing some stickers off here. Now, personally, whenever I build side by sides or cars or whatever, I tend to keep three things in mind and that is simple, clean, and functional. Um, one way that you can actually clean up the look of this is by getting rid of all the flashiness, the stuff that um, kind of makes the machine just look muddy. There's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on at once. Um, I don't like that. So up here on this front fender, we actually have this sticker. It's got the black and silver, which wouldn't look bad. I think that flows really well with the red color on here. But then you've got the Dynamics and the Pro Star and that um, power steering going on right there. And then back here on the rear, you've got the Polaris and the Razor. I mean, let's face it, everyone knows when you look at this machine, it's a Polaris Razor. Um, we don't need the sticker on there to let them know. So I typically will remove those stickers as well as this sticker back here. Sometimes I remove the Polaris down here. Um, for now, I'm just gonna leave it there though. If you guys have not yet subscribed, make sure you go ahead and click down here in the lower right hand corner, the side-by-side -side garage icon. It looks just like this one on the door. Um, also give us, give us a uh, thumbs up because it helps you know give us motivation to keep making you guys videos. Anyways, stay tuned. <laughs>
but I like this just because it's a little bit more aggressive so it gets the residue off there faster. Now, if you were doing, say, a sticker on a, on a car, then I wouldn't use something aggressive like this. You don't want to damage the finish on your car. On the Razor, it's most likely not going to damage it, and if you do, it's real minor and you can't even really see it. Um, so I'll usually get a little bit on the rag here and clean the residue off. And then I'll usually go back with just some blue shop towels or whatever and get anything that's still on there that I see. Or if I was using the lac thinner acetone and there's a little bit of that, um, chemical on there, it just helps make sure you get it off there. So the next thing we're going to do is actually get this out of the way, plug in this heat gun, and I'm going to show you how to get those stickers off. All right, so in order to get these stickers off, like I said, we're gonna use the old heat gun and then we'll use a chemical, um, probably goo gun to get the little bit of residue that's left on there. Um, what you're gonna do is just heat up the sticker and if you don't heat it enough, then you'll notice that it'll actually, like whenever you start peeling on the sticker, um, it'll still be stuck really well. And the sticker kind of wants to, it's almost like break apart whenever you peel on it. And then if you get it heated up about where it should be and you're peeling it off there, the sticker will stretch some, but you'll notice that there's not really any residue left underneath there. And then if you actually get the sticker too hot, whenever you go to peel on it, it stretches and just tears very, very easily. So you kind of got to get, um, good at it, a little, little bit of practice, and you'll find that happy medium so that you're not getting it too hot, but you are getting it hot enough to get that residue off. I like to start off by just kind of um, getting the entire sticker or panel heated up. That way, um, cause like I'll, I'm gonna start over here and by the time I get over here some, this, this panel is gonna be cooled back down some. So then I can heat it back up a little bit, but I don't have to spend as much time heating up the sticker. probably can't see it on camera, but there is a little bit of residue left. You can see this, this uh, sticker is stretching some, um, kind of like I said. So, I mean, it's not bad. It might be just a little bit cool now, um, but most of the residue, at least as I'm peeling on it, is lifting off with the sticker. Now that the sticker is actually all the way removed, we need to get the little bit of residue. You can see most of it actually came off with the sticker um, because I did heat it up. You can see there's a few spots here that there's still some, but it's really not bad and shouldn't take me very long to get that off there. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Goo Gone stuff. Um, just spray it on there and get that glue residue off. Now, um, if you end up not getting all this off there, like it might look like you got it all off, but if you don't get it all off, you're gonna end up finding out whenever you go out on your next ride because all of the dirt and dust in the air is going to stick to all the spots that still have glue on there. So um, it's not the end of the world. Just after you're finished with your ride and you wash your razor, grab some um, of the, Gugan or acetone or whatever it is that you're using and repeat the process of wiping it off there. All right, I'm gonna jump up to the front and just repeat the process up there. So the front right here is just a little bit different than the rear just because this plastic on the razor for the front fender flare is partially covering up the sticker. Um, on my machine, it covers up the sticker a little bit more than most because I've actually trimmed the plastic fender back behind here further back and then redid the holes for the torque screws and basically sucked this fender flare further back just so i had more clearance because i'm running 37s right here um, for the winter time so that by the way is a trick so that you can have a little bit more clearance is to just trim it behind there and suck the flare back 
Um, so anyways, what I'm going to need to do is take off this flare. So I grab the old zip gun real fast with the T40. Um, take off these Torx screws right here. And then I'm also going to go ahead and take this one out because this fender sticker does go underneath the edge there a little bit. Sometimes you can get it to um, peel out from there without undoing it, but usually you need to undo it and just kind of pull this or push on the fender right there just so that that sticker can actually come out of there. Now that that fender flares off there, you can actually see what I was talking about as far as trimming back here. Um, if you've ever had your fender flares off before, you know that this plastic actually comes out here and wrapped around this tube a little bit. So if you just trim that plastic back out of the way like this and then relocate where your torque screws are going, um, you can see this one's moved back, I don't know, half an inch or so. And then this one's moved back a decent amount because it used to be over here that allows that flare to be tucked back and give you just a little bit more clearance. Your tube is obviously still there, but the stock flare is normally right here and the, the tire will catch down here on the bottom and try to pull it off um, sometimes whenever you're running big tires. So anyways, let's grab the, uh, the heat gun, get these stickers heated up and pulled off there just like we did on the rear. Same as the rear, just spray some of this on there, wipe it off with a rag, um, and then clean up any extra with uh, the other rag. As you just saw, it really doesn't take that long to uh, get those stickers peeled off there whenever you use the heat gun. Um, so I'm gonna real fast get this fender flare put back on the machine, get those torque screws back in there. Um, and then after that, I'll go ahead and pull this thing outside so we can um, take a better look at it. All right, everybody, um, remember if you guys have not subscribed yet, if you're on a computer, make sure you click down here in the right-hand corner on the side-by-side -side garage logo to, to subscribe. Um, you can also, if you're on your smartphone watching this or whatever, just hit the red button where it says subscribe. Also give us a thumbs up, a like um, for the video. That way I make sure and keep making you guys videos. Um, as you can see, it turned out pretty good. I definitely think it's a lot cleaner look. Um, it's not so busy going on um, especially now that I've got the side-by-side -side garage logo on the door here um, I didn't want too much stuff clashing together so if you're wanting to change up the look of your side-by-side -side a little bit um, then by all means grab a heat gun and some acetone or goo gun or whatever and take you know start with one sticker and see if you like it and if you like it then start taking more and more off but anyways, if you guys have any questions, then um, drop a comment or whatever. Let us know how we're doing um, with Side by Side Garage. If there are some upcoming videos or anything like that that you guys want us to um, look at doing, then by all means, let us know with either a comment or you can also um, shoot us an email or you can reach out on social media. We are on Instagram, Side by Side Garage, and then on Facebook, it's official Side by Side Garage. 
Um, anyways, you guys stay safe out there. Catch you next time.